Hey, I'm Grace, I'm on the youth panel, and today I will be interviewing Ria about her research. Um, so uh, there's a lot of data, and uh, the analysis that I'm doing at the moment is on the systematic review, so that big literature review. And um, I'm doing some something called a meta-analysis, where I'm trying to have a look at um, getting an overall size of an effect or an overall um, measure of the association between anxiety and depression and stammering in children based on lots of different studies. Okay. Are you <laughs> looking for a way to help children cope with, with the anxiety part of having a stammer or are you more looking for an understanding of the effects of them? Perfect. That's a really good question. <laughs> um, so what I'm trying to do is um, to understand or increase our understanding. Because um, I only have three years to do this research, so there'll be lots more research after, after this. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm trying to increase our understanding of um, whether children who stammer have that elevated anxiety and the factors that contribute to, to the risk of perhaps having elevated anxiety. Um, and so I suppose in answer to your, your first question, I would say that it probably fits into that quite well um, in terms of the, the aim is to help us understand that association so that we can help support children who stammer better. So we can, for example, if seeing that some children who stammer are at elevated risk of anxiety, um, we could think about what kinds of interventions will we need to be putting in place so those children feel more supported with their stammer and their mental health, for example. Um, so I suppose in terms of coping with the stammer, perhaps I would hope that this research would be beneficial to that. Um, okay, good. How um, will your I... research benefit children who have a stammer in the future and how will this add to what we already know okay so the the aim is that if we can understand the association better we can help um, to provide earlier support potentially to children who stammer so we yeah. know from the research that adults who stammer um, seem to have um, and increased uh, levels of anxiety, for example. But I think what we're still trying to figure out is whether, firstly, whether children have an increased level of anxiety, and if they do, when that starts to occur. Because if we can try to figure that out, we could then try to put the support mechanisms to ensure that you get access to, to services that would support um, mental health um, earlier. And that might offset some of those later issues with mental health that sometimes you might see. Um, so that's, that's one way. And the other way, I suppose, is that hopefully the research will have some impact on policymakers who make those big decisions about funding and the services that are available and access to specialist support. And if we can put that research in front of them and make a case to say, actually, we think this this suggests that we need to provide earlier specialist intervention for some children and young people who sum up and um, then I think that would be beneficial um, for, for everybody including speech and language therapists. Yeah okay um, this is my last question <laughs> and it's